All right, now we've come to the I want to sell my enchanted items and it's ridiculously insanely hard to figure out. Well, no. So after you've done your item and you've enchanted it, you simply just do slash item info and that's going to give you where you see diamond sword the 276 colon 2 and then the dash 4pn591 is actually the different layers of enchantment that are on your item. Here we see sharpness 1, knockback 1, and fire aspect 1. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to make a sign and use that code. Now you'll probably have to write it down because it's a little bit tricky. So we just do what we did before, leave the first line blank. I'm only going to sell one of these for 400 zebels. I'm not buying any back. And then we do 276 colon 2. That's for the standard diamond sword. And then we want to do the dash 4PN591. Of course, this would change depending on your item info. And we click Done. Now this shop is successfully created. I can drop my sword into my item limited chest. And if anybody comes along and purchases this, they are now the proud owner of an enchanted sword. Yay! Now, of course, this code is going to change. It'll be smaller or larger depending on the different enchantments and layers. But this enables you to have a variety of different enchantments that you can sell. Now, because it shows this item ID, people aren't going to really know what it is. So if you're going to sell enchantment items, you also need to do the extra work of putting in the different features of that enchantment to keep it fair. Trust me, people will whine if they buy something that isn't what's listed on the sign. It's false advertisement. Don't do it. Anyways, thank you very much and hi chicken.